I'm sure some of you know, um, you know, on some level, how this technology can can bring about these kind of uh, this this more beautiful world our hearts know is possible. Um, and I think that starts with uh, permaculture economics um, and the importance of token driven ecosystems or purpose driven token ecosystems. So these technologies allow us to rethink essentially how we can create and support regenerative ecosystems. Um, there's a ton of inspiration in the Web3 space, and we would love to share some of our inspiration um, for this work with you as well. Can you go to the next slide. The world needs better collective decision making. How do we um, overcome these kind of hierarchical bureaucracies and, and create a future that is you know, conducive to human life and human flourishing? Um, and we believe that this uh, decentralized paradigm and these token networks uh, empower localized problem solving like mycelial networks actually. And this is, you know, paves the way for adaptive collective action um, and really recentering on the commons as um, a better way to um, cooperate and, and move forward than, you know, nation states or corporations and all the kind of higher level uh, coordination mechanisms we've seen thus far. You go to the next slide. So essentially these technologies and these tools allow us to emulate nature's decision-making. Um, how do we make decisions as a collective? How do we decide what's best um, for, our, for our collective um, um, evolution? And we propose to learn from self-organizing systems is, is you know, how does nature solve these problems? Um, and essentially it, it boils down to stigmergic coordination uh, for collective benefit. And I won't go too much into this, but essentially mycelium uh, ant colonies, our immune systems, you know, they react to environmental signals. Um, and now we can uh, kind of control these environmental signals and, and use them for purpose-driven outcomes. Let me go next slide. So this, this kind of unlocks this new potential for a global cooperation framework uh, because stigmergy works through environmentally embedded cues uh, we can actually program these with cryptographic tokens. So for example, we can program tokens or bounties to pay out on meeting environmental targets, com completing community projects. Um, I mean, this can go, you know, as, as blue sky as, as we're interested in, in making it, you know, making it profitable to protect the commons, attaching value to raw resources, funding global cleanup efforts. Um, all of this is unlocked kind of from that, uh, that, that economic source, you know, the, the creation of a token to coordinate humans at scale. Um, next slide. Um, so this is very much in line with, with the permaculture system. Actually, funny story about these, these two diagrams. The one on the right, I, I ended up coloring. It used to be black and white. This was produced by one of the researchers in our ecosystem. Um, and we, we didn't even know this permaculture flower was so similar. Um, and then someone pointed out uh, one time when we shared it that you know, there's, there's so much overlap between crypto economic systems and token engineering and kind of this holistic systems design um, and how we can embed uh, these leverage points for uh, high level coordination around, around common goals. Next slide. So um, we, we draw on so much inspiration from Eleanor Ostrom, from Donella Meadows. Um, she was all about system leverage points. So we can have higher impact change when we go higher up this, um, uh, this lever, you know, so at the, at, once we get into currency design and, and uh, token design, we start moving higher up this lever and it's not just playing with the parameters of the system, but we're really able to adjust the, um, the structure of the system so that we can have higher leverage impact in the areas that it's really important. Um, and these are, you know, leverage points, I'm sure, you know, with permaculture and, and holistic design, this is fairly commonplace, so I won't go into it too much, but we can now apply this to economics as well, which is, which is really interesting. Next slide. Um, so essentially, what, what, what do we aim to do with this? Um, and I think the biggest issue that it will solve is economic monocultures. And we chatted about this a little bit in the last call, how monocultures are, you know, if your country grew one crop, this would be a very uh, a brittle economy. Um, and I propose it's the same thing with, with one currency. Um, and crypto is what brings this kind of economic permaculture opportunity. We see so many different coins. Um, and I mean, even today, we're in the very beginning of this Cambrian explosion of internet currencies. Um, and a lot of them have very interesting properties. Actually, I mean, most of them today are forks of Bitcoin, forks of other uh, coins. But one now that we're kind of verging in this new uh, token engineering landscape and purpose-driven tokens, uh, the sky is really the limit as far as what we can design into our currencies to create these bottom-up um, regenerative ecosystems and collectively empower the people who are using them. Next slide. 
Um, right. So this is some inspiration from Mycelium Running, uh, one of my first books that really got me thinking about this, this um, similarity of structures between, you know, in this on the diagram on the left, this is dark matter and comparing it with mycelium. On the right, this is uh, one of the um, crypto networks that we've done some uh, graph visualization and, and uh, data science analysis on the Gitcoin grants ecosystem. I mean, you, I mean the parallels are, are right there. We're, we're basically talking about the same uh, system structures. And I think you know, this is probably well known again, but I thought it was really neat um, and uh, yeah, really excited to continue exploring in this direction.